Hey, it's Alex Williams of the New Stack here with Josh Ellithorpe, software architect at Epsera. I am lucky enough to be here today at the Epsera office in San Francisco, one of the most beautiful offices I've been to in my travels here. And we're going to take a look at the new community edition of the Epsera platform. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here, Alex, and uh, I'm glad that you finally got to come out to the office. I'm excited, yeah. Well, we're excited too. You know, finally being able to put a free product on the market is pretty exciting for us. Yeah, I would say. And it now, it's been out for, now for how long? Uh, it's been out for about a month now, mm -hmm. and uh, we have that being distributed to our customers as well as to people that just want to try out the platform. It came out with our new developer portal. So we have a developer site now with tutorials, API documentation, really trying to get uh, the AppSera platform into the hands of more developers. Great. So during the demo, I would love to hear about how people are starting to use the platform. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's being used for a number of use cases. It's, uh, we have some tutorials on how to set up Spark for data processing and big data workloads. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not put a restriction on the number of instance managers or kind of like execution uh, VMs that are allowed with the community edition, which makes it a really good fit for big data. And we also have a lot of people using it for traditional web and 12-factor applications. So the use cases are fairly varied. Great. Well, why don't we get started? That sounds great. So what you have here on the screen is just the launching page of the Community Edition web portal. Uh, we put a lot of help, uh, work into splitting the roles and really what different people need from that platform. So if you're a developer, you want to be able to deploy applications, you want to see you know, what's running in your sandbox, what services, et cetera, you're running, what jobs you've been using recently. But if you're in IT and operations, the things that you care about are a little different. You're probably not the one deploying apps, but you need to know how many machines are running in your cluster, what the current policy and security rules look like. And we've tried to kind of split up the tutorials and different pieces of the community edition to facilitate those different audiences. Okay. So what I would like to accomplish during this demo is understanding exactly what the community edition is okay what is its what is its purpose okay and then secondly I'm very curious about the job roles here between developer and IT operations because increasingly what we notice at least is with docker and containers there is a real blurring here of roles and responsibilities and the container has, different uses for developers and for IT operations. Right. And so if we could just start thinking about that as we discuss this, I, I think it would be very useful, you know, information to know about. Well, absolutely. Is that containers by themselves are not quite enough. Right. Um, there has to be <clears throat> more isolation and security kind of wrapping your container, Contr controlling things like network ingress and egress to your container, controlling resource utilization, controlling where something can uh, schedule a container to run, and those types of operational concerns that are very important to IT operations and not necessarily enforced in some of the uh, traditional container tooling out on the market. What we've kind of done with the community edition here is really to get our platform in the hands of developers and show them that just because you have a platform as a service, that it doesn't have to be opinionated, it doesn't have to uh, lack security features, and that you can actually have a robu robust, secure orchestration and container deployment tool that also includes your PaaS-like features like framework auto detection, easy application staging, and all of the features that people have kind of grown to expect in a modern platform. Okay, so what is grown to be expected is different than it being opinionated. That is true. So with 12-factor applications, that's very opinionated. You have to design your app with these criteria in mind, or it won't work in your service. And there's been a lot of really great services that have adopted that model and been fairly successful. You look at Cloud Foundry, you look at Heroku, you look at these types of PaaS systems. But when you try to do something that they don't support out of the box, they become very difficult to extend if you can extend them to do what you want at all. 
So we wanted to provide APIs that allow you to modify the way staging works, the way that you can provision new services with our service gateways, really provide all the frameworks to allow you to deploy any type of application you want, even applications that had never been containerized before. So you're not limited to just Docker images, while we support those as first-class citizens, but it should be able to stage applications that uh, run on a normal Linux machine, but haven't uh, necessarily been containerized uh, down the Docker route.